Right. You know, after yesterday, you know, long, long sleepless night. But one of the things that, you know, reminded the team is that we've been through adversity, you know, several times this year. Uh, right before the game, I told him, so, you know, this game does not depend on what you did yesterday. You get a fresh start every time. And I said, this is our chance to wipe a, you know, a little bit of a bad feeling out of our mouth. So uh, they, they came out and did a great job today. You know, Bailey uh, pitched great. Um, you know, she's been doing that in her starts the last few times out. And, uh, you know, she hit spots today, um, missed a lot of barrels, um, came up big when she needed to with runners on base for them. Um, you know, and held them to the lowest number of runs in the weekend, and that was the key. We needed to keep them down because, uh, quite frankly, you know, our lineup was struggling a little bit, you know, all weekend. Uh, I don't know if it was a layoff, you know, that we had or what, but, you know, we usually hit the ball better than that, so we had to scratch and claw and get some runs, and, you know, her keeping the runs down was really important. Well, you know, you just couldn't have done what we've done without them. You know, they've been integral parts to the to the team for the last two years with Bailey and Erica, and then Julie just has been a you know mainstay in in our lineup, and uh, it's definitely sorely going to be sorely missed. You know, from their contributions, um, and you know, obviously it's not over yet, but uh, great careers that they've had, and and uh, it's nice that you know as they go out that they can you know have strong senior seasons and every one of them are having a strong senior season so now the 1-0 Allen's hit high into the air deep left field back is crumped into the track to the wall she looks up we'll see ya solo homer for julie kernan her 11th of the year and we're tied at one how about that on senior day for julie kernan and she bunts it right out in front of home plate. Miller pounces on it, throws to first. It gets by the second baseman, Holland. Over to second base goes Walker. She'll stop there on the error. The 2-1 on the ground. Over to short now. Here's the throw to the plate. Walker, though, induced the throw. Went back over to third base. Everyone's safe. Looks to bunt. It's over her head. And to the screen, Walker comes in standing up on the wild pitch. Up to second base goes Estacado, and Tulsa has the lead 2-1. to 1-2 one. One, on the ground over to the left side, and the shortstop Hernandez throws to first. It pulls the first baseman Klingler off the bag, and she's safe at first. Over to third base goes Estacado, and he'll one. He goes off the edge of the glove of Davila. She tried to frame the pitch. She missed it completely instead, and coming into score is Estacado, and Tulsa adds another run. It's 3-1. to one. 1-2, poke down the right field line. That's going to fall in for a base hit. McKnight cuts it off and holds Kernan to a single. First pitch swinging, a high pop up into shallow right. That's going to be troubles. It falls in. First to third goes Kernan. Takes a wide turn and will stay at third base. It's a single for Walker. A little Texas League bloop base hit. 2-1. Runner goes, pitch is inside, throw down to second base, goes into center field. Kernan comes in to score on the double steal. And Tulsa is up four to one. Tulsa would love one of those double plays again. And it's through the right side for a base hit. Going from first to third here is Mitcha. The throw to third is in time! What a throw there from Brittany Walker. And Irwin's 2-0. Line drive into center field coming in is Withy. She makes the catch, and Tulsa is a winner, 4-1. to one.